In this video, I'm going to show you how I store and organize my watercolor tubes. Let's get started. So I store them in this neat little carousel here. It's like a Lazy Susan rotating container thing. I'll link everything I'm using in the description below. In the past, I've stored everything in different kinds of containers. Like I used to have my watercolor tubes in just one big box and it was very difficult to grab just the color that I needed. I've also hanged them up in my pegboard and I don't really need them displayed so I change that. Once I change this, I think this works for me at the moment. It's a good way to find what I need really quickly. So right now I have it broken up into categories and my main categories are the watercolor brands. So I found this is the easiest way to separate them because I only have really three main brands that I use. And I know which colors I have in which brands, roughly. So the first category is the Daniel Smith. Um, so I have my limited palette selection here. This is mostly the colors that are in the Daniel Smith Essential Set plus Neutral Tint. So this is the current palette that I'm using right now. And then I have my Primatech and my iridescent paints here. So these are the special kind of, um, the iridescent are like the sparkly, shiny um, colors. And the Primatech are kind of like their earthy, granulating colors that are special to Daniel Smith. And then um, the other paints, I just have it here on this other box. So I know if I'm looking for a Daniel Smith color, they're going to be in this area. And the next part is my Winsor Newton watercolor tubes so i have it divided by the cool colors and the warm colors and whatever didn't fit into these two containers i have it here and so these are the larger tubes and also just some extra tubes it's just three containers that i'm looking for so it's pretty easy to see and then it's transparent so i can kind of look without opening and then on this side i have the gouache. This is a Winsor Newton designer set. Again, I don't have a lot of colors. I just have the one set so it fits in this one box. And then it didn't fit in the other area so I just have my granulation medium here. This is the box that it fit in so I just inserted that in there. And I know where that is because it's right there. I can see it from like because it's clear. And the next part is my M-gram. Again, this is just a small set. It's the, I believe it's their set of 10 um, introductory colors or something like that. And then on the bottom side, I have my watercolor mediums. In the past, I used to have my watercolor mediums together with my acrylic mediums. But what I discovered was I never knew where they were. And I, whenever I needed them, I couldn't use them. So I started storing them with my tubes and now I know exactly where they are they're here and just having that separation between my watercolor paints and mediums and my acrylic paints and mediums helped a lot in being able to find what I'm needing because usually if I'm doing watercolor I don't need any of my acrylic stuff and vice versa if I'm doing acrylic I don't need any of my watercolor paints or mediums so storing the watercolor mediums with the watercolor tubes makes more sense than storing all the paint tubes together and all the mediums together because then that's confusing. And then I also have my pants here, just some empty watercolor pants. And that's it. It's really easy to find what I'm looking for. If you found this video helpful, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Thank you for watching.